Welcome to episode two of Fur on Drive. My name is Rachel, and I'm going to be your host. And for today, I'm going to recap um, the San Fernando and House Hope from last weekend, preview the Sunshine Millions Classic, and I'll also give an Eclipse preview. So let's get right into it. So in the San Fernando, which was on Saturday, uh, the winner of that race was Fedbez, and I was trying to avoid him at all costs, uh, picking him. And then in the house, Hope, uh, that was won by Sabata, um, who I think got up at the last minute to get the win. So, I'm just going to do a uh, one race preview this week because I'm going to be uh, doing a preview of the Eclipses as well. And this is the Sunshine Millions Classic, and this is only for Florida breads. But it's a pretty big race. Um, some pretty nice horses won. Lava Man, um, Southern Image, of course, both of them went on to win the Sanity Handicap. Um, so let's take a look at this year's field. At a mile and eighth, and a field of seven are entered. Here is the field for the Sunshine Millions Classic. Number one, I'm stepping up. Number two, Mucho Macho Man. Number three, Fort Lawton. Number four, Atoned. Number five, Ron the Greek. Number six, Decaf again. Number seven, Cash Rules. So there are two horses who I think have a big chance. The first one is, um, Mucho Macho Man, of course, he's by um, Macho Uno, and he finished second in the Breeders' Cup Classic to Fort Larned. He almost got up in time to get the win, and he is also the defending champ of the um, Sunshine Millions Classic. Uh, I, I think he has a big chance. Um, the problem is, is that Breeders Cup horses haven't come back that well. I mean, some have won, but many have lost um, since. However, if he wins here and he goes on a very similar schedule that he had last year, it could be a huge year for him. Um, and then the second horse who I think has a big chance is Ron the Greek, and he's by full mandate. And he won two grade ones last year, the Santa Anita Handicap and the Stephen Foster. The problem is, is that he fell off towards the end of the year and really was no factor in um, the Classic. So those two are the two big names. Uh, Fort Lauren has a chance as well, uh, as well as a tone, but my pick for the Sunshine Melon Classic is Mucho Macho Man to defend his uh, title from last year, and hopefully he goes on to win some good races this year, including maybe the Suburban again, and hopefully he gets up for the Woodward, if the, as I said, if he's going to do a similar schedule. And hopefully he gives his trainer, Captain Riffle, the first female to win the Classic. So, trainer. So, that is um, the uh, preview. I know it's kind of short this week, but um, because this is uh, only restricted to Florida breads, um, it doesn't uh, leave much for of a preview. I mean, yes, there's the La Comp and the Silver Bullet Day this weekend as well, but honestly, I felt this was a better race to preview than either of those. So there's no blog news this week, but I do have some racing news, and that will be the preview for the Eclipse Awards. So, tomorrow night is the Eclipse Awards at Gulfstream Park in Hallandale, Florida. Um, 
Of course, the year is going to be pretty open and shut, and that's going to be Wise Dan. And he deserves it. Uh, three gray ones on the turf. Plus, he was second in the Stephen Foster on dirt. Um, beat some really nice horses in the mile, um, including Celebration, who have been uh, Frankel's punching bag for three years, and Animal Kingdom, who was, of course, the 2011 uh, Derby winner. Um, Three-year-old male, another open and shut. Um, that's going to be all of another uh, first two-time TC race winner uh, to win probably since Big Brown and the second Derby winner in a row to win the division. Um, sprint, female sprinter is another, this is probably going to be a unanimous, um, maybe misdirection takes a couple of votes, but it's another open and shut case, and that's going to go to Groupie Doll, who basically decimated that division, winning, I think, almost all of her races, um, against female sprinters. Second in the, uh, Cigar Mile to stay thirsty. So, she might actually also take a couple of votes away from Royal Delta in the older female, but that's another open and shot. Won the Breeders' Cup Ladies Classic again. Uh, added the Del Cap to her uh, reign as well. And actually, uh, of course, the Del Cap will be a grade one this year. Um, there are a couple of divisions that could go either way. Um, one of them is older male. Um... Whether you give it to Wise Dan or Fort Larned, um, if you give it to uh, Wise Dan, then you have to give Turf Mail to Little Mike, who won the Breeders' Cup Turf. Um, but he could do what Giovanni did um, and win both the Turf and the Older Mail. But that was a really weak, weak year for Older Mail, and this is another weak year. Um, of course, um, you gotta feel bad for Point of Entry. Had a fabulous year and then just ran into a buzzsaw in the turf in t uh, with Little Mike. Um, and then the other division that could go either way is three-year-old uh, female. And that's really between Questing and my Miss Aurelia. Um, before the La Brea, I would have said my Miss Aurelia deserved it off her cotillion and, uh, second place in the, uh, Ladies Classic, even though my heart was always with questing. However, after the La Brea, I'm about 85% sure. I'm leaving that little bit of doubt that questing will get it. My gut feeling, though, is that my Miss O'Reilly will get, um, which, I don't know. I mean, it was a bad year for three-year-old Phillies, um, because the third finalist is Believe You Can, and she didn't run past June. Um, but I think that's going to be that three-year-old male last year was highly debatable. Um, I felt that Caleb's posse deserved it off his dirt mile win, but the um they gave it to Animal Kingdom, which I I could see w why. I mean, he was the Derby winner, but he didn't he hadn't run past June, so we'll see what happens. My head is saying my Miss Aurelia, my heart is saying questing, and you know what? Screw my head. I'm going to go with my heart, and I'm going to say that questing will be the three-year-old female winner, but we'll see. So, next week will be a recap of the Eclipse Awards and, of course, the Sunshine Millions Classic, and then we'll get into back into two races. So I will see you then. Bye.